Hey, what's up guys? It's Winman34X coming at you with a video of uh, how to have your mom love you. So, sometimes we are born with certain predispositions or certain families that are very different than how we perceive things. Kind of like when we watch TV and we see how this family operates and we're like, my family's not like that. My parents don't tell me this or that or, you know, and so it's it's difficult because our relationships with our parents, we have a certain fantasy perspective that we really wish that we could have, but in reality, sometimes we gotta recognize that our earthly parents are human just like us. You know, for me, as you guys know, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, and, and I know that there's greater things for me, but man, for the people out there who don't have that, I just, my hat goes off to you guys. It is such a difficult life. And then on top of that, to live it without a creator, to knowing that someone who genuinely loves and cares for you and loves you just the way you are, to know that you are beautiful no matter what, to know that you are a child of God, that you are a daughter, a son, and like for me, honestly, I don't know where my life would be without Christ because my perspective of love and family has drastically changed because I know that for me, you know, Jesus said, Jesus actually denied his mom and his brother when the disciples were like, hey, your uh, mom and brother and sister are outside. And Jesus was like, no, 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 no. You are my brother. You are my sister. You are my mother. Anyone who does the Father's will is part of my family. And so for me, that gives me comfort. You know, I've been blessed to be raised with a family that has really been focused on loving and being together. But also, I do recognize, though, not everyone has that type of upbringing. So our identity is like, well, my family doesn't love me, so nobody loves me. That's bullcrap. You are loved. You are cared for. And so it might be difficult with having a relationship with your mom or your dad and don't let that hinder you from growing and expanding and just knowing that you are truly loved, that the creator of the heavens and the earth loves you individually. It says in the word that he knew us before we were born, that he was knitting us. He was taking his time and he loves you so much. I hope this helps someone. This is one man 34 x and this is how to have your mom love you again. Bye. Don't speak to Jesus.